All in favor of me breaking into this random dude's house, say aye. Oh, Stu Fu, horse. Maybe I'll knock first so I feel less sketchy barging in. You will notice that the house of this particular NPC is well decorated. Waste no time explaining anything to this man. He reads the newspaper. He gives you one of his balls and sends you away. Make sure you kick his chamber pot on the way out. Exit the town because it's gay. Kick anything that pisses you off, such as this stupid sign with some stupid swords on it. Whatever. When you get out to the overworld, sprinkle some fairy ass water. Since it smells like water, enemies are less likely to approach you. Unfortunately, Brian Leaf is unfamiliar with this commodity and scatters the water in arbitrary locations instead of applying to the neck and wrists as directed on the back of the bottle. Some damn kids want some candy or something. Don't let them touch you with their peanut butter fingers. I find it strange that thou hast failed to run away from a thing without legs and some bumbling chum jockey. Spank them smartly with your spank ray. Trick or treat, motherfuckers. Wit and courage have served thee well, for Ryan Leaf has been promoted to the next level. Too bad you can't do anything about that lisp. Head down this valley of hills and mountains, and completely ignore this gazebo towards the south. For some reason, I always seem to get the words gazebo and zamboni mixed up. Anyway, head on down to this cute little reservoir with a dungeon in the back. This small dungeon once used to be a fairly popular speakeasy during the Prohibition period. Now it's a dungeon. You'll find some guy hanging out here. He says something obvious like, Oh shit, a wall! That wasn't there ten minutes ago! You should probably use the magic ball here, since it's like, the only thing that makes any sense. <laughs> Holy shit! It turns out that the magic ball is actually a plastic explosive, and it owns the shit out of bricks. Or maybe it just shit a brick. In any case, it seems as this, this particular plot device is directly plagiarized from that one part in Metal Gear Solid. Just like the sentry guards, the stone statues don't seem to notice the loud explosion. Avoid any holes that you may see in the floor. They are entirely different from holes you may find in the wall, simply because of the alignment of gravity on the planet. You may be wondering why all of the dungeons in this era were colored green, but consider that one who might be red-green colorblind would wonder why all of the dungeons of the era were colored red. Then again, why would anyone bother to color coordinate a dungeon in the first place? It's a question for the encyclopedia. Since our party has not encountered a random battle in quite some time, it would be prudent to assume that our asses are about to get slammed by, like, a million things flying out of nowhere. This family of demon anteaters is famished to the point where they would even eat a party of traveling adventurers. This may be due to the fact that all of the demon ants have perished since the first frost of winter, and all the other ants were killed in Dragon Warrior 2. Use your keen sense of direction, or a map, to guide you straight to the exit. However, you may want to stop to collect any rare or valuable items located in treasure chests. This chest contains a magic knife, which must otherwise be purchased from the QVC network for three easy payments of all your money. Turn this corner up ahead. You will know that you're headed in the correct direction when you see the walls begin to narrow. And when you see stairs. But don't stare, it's rude. Another family of demon anteaters blocks your path. Perhaps they were all headed to a family reunion. In which case, you should be prepared to face wave after wave of these vicious creatures. There's not much you can do about them besides punching them in the face until they die. You could try casting some spells or something, but some people might not think you are very manly. It might not even be worth your time and MP anyway. It would be wise to save up some mana since you will not be presented with an opportunity to pee until you exit the dungeon, and this may take a while. Normally, it would be easy to outrun them, but since your entire party consists of nerdy white guys and an old woman, you might fail miserably. Furthermore, it's tough to see where you're going when the battle simulation area is pitch black. You should really try to outrun something slower, such as a group of spiked hares. Dragon Warrior 3 is notorious for its unforgiving random number generator, and therefore these battles cannot be easily manipulated into not happening. Sorry, homies. Hooray. Heal any members of your party who have been complaining about bruises, even though he ate all the damn Cheetos and stole the last Capri Sun. Faggot. Well, what do you know? Here's a familiar scene. Pwn them like you usually do. Except this time, try to kill them in order from shortest to tallest. It's easy, because, you know, they're all the same. 
just fight him, I guess. Whoa, Ric Flair. Obviously, no one in middle school taught you that it's not cool to try too hard. Take it easy there, slugger. Then again, I don't blame him for getting pissed off about all these freaking moles. Yeah, that's great. Gain some experience. Shit. There must be some rule about doors and dungeons. That they must be at least quadruple the size of normal doors, because, like, look at that freaking door. Even though these wascoey wabbits get the jump on you, no pun intended, you can still leave them eating your dust. But make sure to save some dust for later escapes. Because dust, like, owns everything. I don't know if you've ever seen Dragon Ball Z, but, like, when the dust clears, everyone's already dead. Alright. I'm getting kind of pissed off. This caterpillar will probably be the last battle before you exit the dungeon. Try not to, like, level up or anything to waste more time. Look, just kill him. He's a caterpillar. Oh, thanks. Aw, shucks. That goes another, like, ten seconds of your precious life. Alright, fine. Oh, come on! Balls, 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 just balls. Gain some balls, obtain 17 balls. Jump into this whirlpool thing. It will take you somewhere. <laughs> balls. Open up this door with a thief's key. Make sure to close the door behind you so not to let any wild animals out of the dungeon and into the city. Okay, or not. Just scram, I guess. Finally, a town slash castle. Oh, you know, if there's one thing I like about random battles is that they make for a great movie. Whatever. I never really like dogs anyway. My girlfriend's got a dog and she like... I don't know, I just get allergic. I like lick your face and stuff, and he just jumps on you. It's gay. Oh hey, a one damage kill. How often do you see that? Anyway, kinda ran out of things to say. Sorry guys. Take a look around this one horse town. Apparently, this kid could just tell that you were from a lion hand. What the hell is that supposed to mean? We don't just hail from there, we make it rain. Better grab an umbrella. Why does everyone want to know where we're from? That doesn't make me feel too welcome. Nice cat statues, assholes. The king wants to see you. That's great news because he's a freaking idiot. Yeah, same to you, pal. Whatever, don't talk to this guy. No, don't talk. Alright. Somehow, this ass clown knows exactly how much exp you need to get to the next level. What a stalker. He offers to save your game. I don't really trust him, but thanks anyway. It seems that the king of this strange and racially insensitive land has a task for only the strongest and the cunningest. Since legendary hero is not a popular vocation around this part of the world, his highness has eagerly awaited your arrival so that he may present you with his proposal. He, like, lost his hat or something and he wants you to find it. Just tell him that you'll do it, but don't call him later. Anyway, I'm gonna go make a grilled cheese or something. Later, guys. Thanks for watching, I guess.